morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. Um, I am Chris, and we are doing a 45-minute full body workout today. We're going to be using dumbbells and a ball. Okay, so here's the deal with the ball. If you don't have one, they're not actually that expensive of a piece of equipment to use, and they're fantastic to add a little bit of core work in. <laughs> Oh, I'm just having fun this morning already. Um, <laughs> okay, baby. Okay. Um, so we are um, going to do what we call try sets again today. So each segment is going to have three moves in it. It will not be repeated, sort of. So um, we're going to go through each try set, try set in a different way a second round later on in the workout. So we have 45 minutes. Um, what else? What else? Dumbbells and a ball. Um, I'm not really going to give a ton of things to do without the ball because this is a ball workout. And if you don't have a ball, what you can do is choose a full body workout that doesn't have a ball. There's plenty of them available. Okay. Really quickly, comment of the day. Don't have a name on this one. I don't know why. Here is a message about strength training. I'm 68 years old. About 10 years ago, I dropped the riser out of step class um, and was doing the step without risers. After two years of strength training, the riser is back and I'm able to do all the classes using a single riser. So if step is your thing, strength training will make it much better. I'm lighter on my feet and much stronger than before. P.S. I do yoga and mobility also. We all need all three to be comfortably fit. You are absolutely right. So thank you for that comment. I love reading these guys. You know that. Um, um, if you're doing my workouts, <laughs> you're going to see me struggling with the fact that I have to do the timers and stuff until Kevin gets down here. Okay? All right. What you guys doing? <laughs> Let's start with a step tap and roll. 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 Keep going. I'll just be way back here. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Good. Good. So Alex said, Alex just said she used to do the weight machines at the gym. Dumbbells seem to do more. Um, yes, they do. Okay, so let me explain that. Take your arm up and circle. Is our volume good on everything? Okay. Um, so the machines at the gym, they are great, especially if you're just starting out with weights because they get you in the position. So keep doing this, keep doing this. So say you're at a machine where your chest is chest is supported and you're doing a row. That's great. But, right, it was a but. Keep going. Um, hold on. <laughs> Tap and swing. All right, but, right, if you're using dumbbells, you have to use other muscles, okay, to help support. So those machines at the gym are great, especially if you're just getting, if you're really, really working just specifically on one muscle, okay, for one muscle group, but those dumbbells will allow other muscle groups to help out. Four, three, two, now right here you're going to circle back, good, circle back, keep going, back, again, back, there's probably going to be a little bit of that today too, I'm sorry, by the way, my workouts are live if you've just joined me, good, look at this, you're going to go side to side. Side, good, keep going, side to side. Now, add a reach over, reach over, good. Good morning, Sandra, Donna, Bobby, oh, DJ Kevin Kev, good. They're here? Okay, keep going. Oh, you guys might get like Kevin's arm in the shot as he comes through for the, <laughs> keep going, it's over there. Let's see you get it, let's see you get it. Keep going, and four, hey baby. Three, family's here, good, and one, big breath in, take it up, exhale, hands to your knees, round your back up for four, three, two, do that again, take it up, exhale, roll it up, hey Renata, good, again, take it up, and down, four up, and four, and three, and two, now squat down, good, good down. So again, right now your, your squat doesn't need to be super deep, okay, because you're warming up. So we don't want to think about the form here, right? So knees and toes pointing in the same direction, right? So mine are out like at 45 degrees. My toes are like almost pointing to the front corners of my mat. Good. What you don't want this. That's where the knee problems come in. When your toes are pointing one way and your knees aren't the other way. Good. Keep going. 
down, up. How about we hold it down? Hold it down. Good. Right there. Arms up. You're gonna go right heel, left heel. Right heel. Now what you're not doing is this. Okay. <laughs> Control. Come on. Keep it going. <laughs> Kevin's whole hand. <laughs> Keep going. Good. And four, three, two. Now hold it back right here. I want you to reach and pull down in a lap pull. Up, up, and down. Good, good. And up, up, and down. Keep going. Uh, are you coming back this year, Hanada? Come on. And up. Good. Down. Yes. Sandy, great way to explain it. Linear isolation of one muscle. Yes. Keep going. Now hold it down. Hold it down. And swing it out again. Swing it out again. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. March. Okay, listen. Easy. You're just going to take heel kick to the back side. Warming up your hamstrings on the right side. Okay? So our first segment today is going to be squats with shoulders. All right? Keep going. Up. But with the ball. Other side. Right here. Other side. So you're not doing this. You're standing up tall. Up. Good. Good. Keep going. Give me eight, seven. It is Monday. Six, five, four, three, two. You know what that means. And one. Good. Okay. So what we're going to do, you're going to grab the ball and watch. So while I'm showing you this, decide on the dumbbells you're going to use. Okay. We're going to be doing two down, two up. If you can't do an overhead press, I want you to just do it without weight. Okay, because that's when you get your range of motion, okay? So it'll be down here and up here. Then, move number two, alternate front raises, okay? Then move number three will be down, side raise, down, and up. So if you need different weights for that, okay? I'm gonna use uh, 12 for the overheads and then 10s for the others, okay? So have those weights nearby so you can grab them easily. Okay, so my 12s will be there. I'm holding the ball with my booty right now. Okay. So, got my 12s. Back is against the ball. Right? Feet out so that when you come down, you can see your toes. They don't disappear. Shoulders back. Everything's a minute. Two down, two up. You're gonna go down and press. Good. Down and press. I meant to set up the camera from the side today so I could show this a little better. Good, keep going. Down, keep going. I gotta cut his legs off, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin just told me I need to cut Momoa's legs off. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna give you this shot in a second from the side. It's gonna be very blurry. Oh, well you can't do that. Keep going, keep going, good. And down, <laughs> Kevin. Well, if you didn't leave him, outside in the rain because you were jealous, then you wouldn't, uh, give me <laughs> He's all soggy. <laughs> what the heck is going on, guys? <laughs> yeah, he's down, abs are super strong. Hey, Amanda. Good. And up. Nice. Good. Up, again, and down. <laughs> nice. All right, now, quickly, Kevin, give them the, um, Give them the, the F button really quick. I don't know if you can see this, but see here, I know it's a little blurry and dark. Knees above the ankle. So right here, you're gonna lift right arm, left arm. Okay, I know it's really blurry, sorry. Okay, ready? Hold it. Here we go. <laughs> what did you say, Kevin? Yeah, Kevin just said, just imagine that you had a couple martinis when you look at that camera angle. Good, keep going, good. Good, keep going, come on. Whew. Ah, nice, good. All right, Jill Wagner. Christy P, are you here? Keep going, come on. Keep your abs strong, meaning you don't want to round forward. Keep those shoulder blades against the ball. Keep those shoulder blades against the ball. This is nice and slow. Debbie, that was like on my list of things to do was look for a new cutout. <laughs> Poor Momoa. <laughs> well, the good thing is if we cut off his legs, Kevin can actually run across the screen and be his legs, which would be awesome, wouldn't it? Good. Keep going. 
<laughs> it might be a little deranged, but that's what we do here. Right? Come on. You're almost there. Whew. Nice. Come up. Now, we're going to have another minute. You're going to go down, side raise, down, and up. Here we go. So slow, up, down, and left. Now, if you need to switch out your weights, do it, okay? When you do this side raise, your arms are slightly bent, okay? They're not locked out at the elbow. You want to lift from your shoulders, from your deltoids, not from your neck, okay? What's the term? Get out of your neck. Good. And up, and down, and up. Good. Whew. <laughs> Can we make that happen, Kev? Go on. Kevin said yes to that. Kev, do you have shorts on right now? Because that would be even better. Okay, he does. He has shorts on. <laughs> good. I like Wahlberg Wednesdays. That sounds good to me. <laughs> good. Amanda's like, can we have Travis and Taylor Tuesday? <laughs> good. Wait, I just gave her an idea. And stop. Okay, not so bad, right? Round one is done. We are going to do more wall squats later. Not right now. Okay, so now you're going to come to the floor. We're going to hit those hamstrings, okay? Now, no weight on this one. Can you give him a close up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so feet are on the ball. You're not like this. Okay, I want feet flat on the ball. You're gonna lift up for two, and then down. When that minute is over, extend, here, and out. When that minute is over, in, up, down, out. Feet flat, two up, two down, here we go. Up, and down, good. Up. <laughs> what does that say? You have to draw a Momoa tattoo on Kevin. <laughs> and down. Good. Keep going. <laughs> yes to Travis and Taylor Tuesday. Come on. <laughs> oh, and down. Good. Up. Nice. So right here, you're going up to where your weight is on your shoulder blades, but you're really squeezing your glutes. Okay? So you don't want your weight on your head or your neck here. All right? If that's the case, don't go so high. All right? Another thing. Is this you? <laughs> that's okay. That means you got to work on your core a little bit. And that's fine, right? Right? We've all been that person the first time on the ball or the fifth time on the ball rolling off the ball. <laughs> Good. And down. Good. Up. Up. Down. Hey, Christy. Good. Okay, extend. Ready? Two in, two out. In, out. Good, Christy. Perfect. Good. So Christy is one of my best friends from growing up. Talk about a lot of stories. <laughs> Good. Uh, if I'm 48, I think we've been friends since I was 40. Uh, since I was since I was five, maybe. So in, bring those heels to your backside. You're not lifting your backside up and down. It's staying up off the floor. So hamstrings should be hot on fire. Come on. And out. Good. And speaking of Donnie Wahlberg, uh, no, no, that was Mark Wahlberg, but Christy and I had a big fight over a picture of Donnie Wahlberg one time from a from probably Bop magazine. And we, we wanted to, one of us wanted to put it on our wall. And I kind of feel bad that I won that fight. She was so sweet. She walked it across the street back to my house. And she was all, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, put it down. Extend out. You have one more round here. It's going to be in, up, down, and out. And yes, I said Donnie Wahlberg, not Marky Mark. <laughs> so that was clearly in New Kids days. Ready? One minute. <laughs> here we go. And in, up, down. Not Donnie Wahlberg from the sixth sense. <laughs> up. And down. Nice. Awesome. Good. So you want to pull in. You're feeling those hamstrings. If you're not feeling your hamstrings, something's wrong. Keep going. Was that Kev? Kevin never said he was jealous. Are you hanging on to that, buddy? Good. I know. I know you never said you were jealous. <laughs> you're my man. Keep going. Good. I know you're not, Kev. Good. Come on. 
Oh, keep going. Up. Good. You shouldn't be, consider Boa is peeking over the desk at you right now. Go ahead and stand. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Check it out, Kevin. Up. Nice. Keep going. Good. And stop. Ah! Oh, that was awful. Okay. So quickly. Anybody feel that? Come forward. <laughs> oh yeah, these are good. Okay. Yeah, Donna, he's not. He's not. Travis Barker and Corey Taylor. <laughs> yep, Jenna, that's right. Okay, so we're going to chest work, okay? I do want you to have two different sets of dumbbells here. So, for my chest press, I'm gonna do 22 and a half. But then for the other two moves, I'm gonna go down to, I'm gonna go down to 17, okay? Now, let me show you why. I might even do 15 for the fly. Okay, I'm gonna bring my 15s over as my, oops, maybe, dumbbells. Look at them, I'm just gonna make a mess. Make a mess, all right? <laughs> Pulling your weights out burns calories too, you know. Okay, so your first move, okay, you're gonna be on the ball, head is on the ball, hips are up. Head is not here. It will be for the second move. So you're up, if your hips if your hips are up, you're like if someone can sit on you like a bench. Arms at 90, we're gonna do two up, two down chest press. If this bothers your back at all, go to the floor and do it flat on the floor or on a bench, okay? All right, you guys ready? <laughs> what is happening happy with the music? <laughs> Come down. Okay, I'm gonna get you started and then I have to fix the music. Ready? One minute, here we go. Up. Can you hit the minute button first? There we go. Thanks, Kev. Up. He's got it. Nice. So keep those hips lifted. Feet are flat. And the feet are under your knees. They're not out here. Okay? Up. Nice. And down. Keep going. Up. Good. <laughs> I have to say, though, those roll-ins with the ball are one of my favorite hamstring moves, even though I hate them the same time so your neck should not feel squished here you should be like as if your head if your head is like laying on a bench okay you're going out to 90 with those arms pressing the knuckles up to the sky nice the hands do not end up when they're down they don't end up over the shoulder all right keep going why are we doing this on the ball work your core a little bit more right now after those hamstring muscles you're getting a little bit of an iso in your hamstrings right and in your glutes come on Right, ready, one more, push it up, and nice, bring it down. Now I'm lightening up to 17 because we're gonna do an incline chest press, okay? So an incline chest press, okay, you're more here. It's the same motion, okay, but it's across. I want you to think of it not overhead and not front, more like diagonal. Okay, so it's up. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable, so if you have to go lighter, do it. Ready? Here we go. Good. So, your head is not. Uh, all right, you don't want your neck feeling like there's, there's tension hanging back, okay? Here we go. Up. Another way you could do it if it makes you feel better is to be on the floor if it feels better in your neck. But that's only if the ball is big enough for you to do that. Okay, this right here is gonna give you a little more core. Up, and down, good. So again, think of it as a cross between a chest press and a shoulder press. So it's an incline chest press. Now, good. Some of you guys have been uh, the comments saying, you know, we always do chest and back first, and then my shoulders are really tired at the end to do the, the shoulder work. When you work chest and back, you're going heavier. Okay? And you're also working your shoulders. I'm not saying you don't have to work your shoulders, right? But you're working your shoulders when you do those moves. Stop. I'm lightening up for chest fly. You're gonna be back on the ball with your hips up. Okay? So, here. Ooh, holy chest. Ready, elbows bent. We're gonna open for four. Four. Three. Back in. Four. Three, good, keep going, now, okay, arms are here, here, 
slightly bent, like they're going around something, not straight, and they don't bend as they go down. That's a thing I see all the time, or I've seen all the time. People in the gyms, right, think they're doing a chest fly, but they're doing a chest press with their palms in, all right? So you're opening. And yes, you probably, you definitely so have to go lighter for this like than you would for chest press. If you're using you the down. same weight, you probably need and to go heavier for chest press. Okay? You can save keep going. Yourself, but that's love. That's just love. Now, when I explain about that shoulders being used during chest and back, okay? Think about that's why you can also use heavier weight. Okay? And stop. Woo! Okay. So you can also use heavier weight for chest and back because not only are you working these big muscles, but the shoulders are helping, the triceps are helping, and the biceps are helping. So when you're doing a chest press, chest, shoulder, pushing is triceps, coming back down to get biceps. Woo, we get it all. Okay, so, all right, core coming up. Core coming up. Ball is up on your shins. You are not holding in between your feet. So, hey Kev, give a, give a close up. Okay. Ball on top of your shins, so your feet are apart. Okay? Let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, hands behind your head. Now, you don't want it out too far because you don't want your back arch. You're going to cross over and down. Okay? There is some balance work there with the ball. Okay, so nice and slow. We're going one minute. Here we go. Cross. Cross. Nice. So you're reaching over, cross the other leg, the, the, in, the outside of the back of your hand, I should say, to the ball. Good. Keep going. Nice. Right? So different on the ball. Good. Good. Keep going. Yeah, the incline chest press, Donna, is tough. And Donna, if that was really, really hard for you, um, you definitely wanted to go lighter on that, right? So remember that, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Woo! Awesome, stay with it. Make this slow so you can feel what's going on here, that you're lifting from your middle, not pulling on your head, okay? Because you can do this all day if you're just rocking side to side. Lift up, down, lift up. Get that shoulder off the floor, right? Come on, up and down. All right, now here's the fun part. part. This is for you, Paula. Okay, hands down. You're doing a reverse curl, but it's so small that you can hardly see it. The ball is probably gonna fall off of maybe half of you. That's the point, is to not make it fall off. Ready? <laughs> Here we go, little. So it's a reverse curl. You're tilting your pelvis, okay? Up and down. Okay, when you lift, you're not, you're, if you're doing this, you're gonna lose the ball, right? So the ball is balancing up there on the shins. You're doing a pelvic tilt. Now some of you are like, what? I don't get it. Think about tilting up the pelvis. So, you, so you're lifting your backside just slightly off the floor. Up and down, good. Whew. Oh, Jenna, I'm in love with my shoulder curves since I began working out with you. You're the sweetest, honey. Come on. Oh, you're gonna be bringing those shoulder curves back to Pennsylvania soon. Come on, come on. Whew. Awesome, keep going. Very small, very little, good, keep going. This is your third move in the tricep. Very focused, do the best you can, one more. And stop, okay, flip it over. You got a forearm plank on the ball. If you can't do it on the ball, okay, you're gonna do it on the floor. So close up, Kev. Okay, on this, I do want your hands together for to start, lay your chest on the ball, okay? Now, you're on the tip, you're on the tops of your toes. You're not like this. If you're here, you're gonna lose the ball, okay? So tops of your toes, heels above the heels above the toes. Right there. Push, lift your chest. One minute we hold. Here we go. Okay, now take your hands apart if you can. If you can't, bring your hands back together, okay? Or work on changing it so your hands are a little bit apart, okay? Now, keep your eyes forward a little bit. What I love about this, okay, and if you're like, oh my god, that's okay. Okay, core work again. Pressing straight down into the ball. You're above the ball of the foot here. So you don't want to have the weight on the ball of the foot back here. Come forward. 
okay? Good. Hold it. Hold it. If you need to drop out of it, you drop out, come back, come back when you can, okay? That's totally okay, right? Whew. I've had a lot of you guys say to me, I can't even do a plank for 10 seconds. And then a few months later, you're like, oh, a minute's easy. Yeah? Come on, hold it. And three, two, one. Woo! Holy bejeez. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you guys ready? Okay, get a quick drink because we're going back to wall sets, but we're going to add curls this time. So we're going into biceps with wall sets. Okay, let me get some water. <laughs> and go ahead and grab some water. Oh, Jason fell over. Ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> give, him the, give him the R. Okay, so I went over there to get water and I messed with Anna instead. <laughs> you got that. All right. So let's do it. Back to the wall set. Something you can use for hammer curls something you can use for uh, regular curls, and then something you can ISO with. So that might all be the same. I'm gonna do 17 for hammers, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna have 15s and 12s for my, oh boy, I can't do this. Okay, so I have them all around, okay? Ball. <laughs> of course, of course. Holy crab. All right, so 17, and everybody's like, ball workouts, what a joke. And I'm like, really? Are you doing this, right? Okay. Whew. I'm hair in my mouth. Okay, sorry. Okay, so lean back, curl as you go down, and back down. Ready? One minute. Here we go. Good. You're calling protective services. Cut out protective services for Momoa. Good. Keep your elbows pointing down. Good. Good. Good, Tanya. Yeah, that's all right. You're better than you thought. I knew you could do it. Good. Keep going. Nice. Elbows point down. Keep going. Good. Curl up. Palms are facing in. This is a hammer curl. I also like to have my hand, keep going, when I'm doing a hammer curl here, rather than here, because when you're there, a lot of times you bend your, elbow, bend your wrist, okay? So, not everybody, but some people tell me that it hurts their wrist, put that, put that top of the hand against the inside head of the dumbbell, okay? Keep going. And down. Nice, okay, nice. Put them down, I'm going to my 15s. You're gonna hold your squat. Holding your squat, you're going up for two and down for two. Ready? And three, you know what, let's twist them. Let's twist them up. Nah, palms forward, go. Palms forward, okay. And down, nice. Now, if you wanna go slower, you can. Good. What I want you to feel, okay, just keep feeling, let me put this back here, see if I can do this. <laughs> The hand, I can't do it. Okay, so I want you to feel the back, your tricep, just lightly like brushing the ball, okay? The entire time, okay? So what I'm saying is I don't want your arms going here. Don't want your arms going here. Your palms come up, your elbows stay pointing down. Good, and you're just holding your squat. Keep going. Okay, good, good, nice. So I like to feel the back of my arms against because that's going to keep your, keep your arms in place and really focus on those biceps. Actually, everybody keep your arms against the ball. For some of you, that's going to be really hard because of posture. Okay, stop. Now, I'm going lighter for the, for the uh, ISO. You're going to hold it out to the side. Come up. Fingers open. You're going to go. Three, four, uh, ready? Here we go. Four. Can you give me a little more volume in here? Up. Up. Three, four, up, two, three, come on, and four, good, three, two, ISO, and up, two, three, again, and down, two, three, up, good, up, two, three, 
Nice. Can you keep your elbows on the back of your arms against the ball here? Nice. Don't lean forward. When we lean, when we come forward, then we're getting out of what I want you to work. And you really feel those squats here. Come on. And up, 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 and down. Down, two, three, and up. Good. Iso, hold it, hold it. That should be a little fiery. Come on. And down, two, three, up. Last one. And stop. Oh, holy moly. Okay. Back to glute bridges. But this time you're on the ball, okay? Now, so a lot of core coming up at you again. If you can't do it on the ball, you can go back to that first set where we are on the floor with our feet on top, okay? All right, you have an option. If you wanna put your ball, uh, a weight on your hips, you can. I'm gonna do 15, okay? You don't have to. You wanna come out, head on the ball. Feet are flat for the first round. We're gonna go. Down, two, up, two. Ready? One minute. Here we go. Down. Now, I like to kind of bring the butt down and the head comes with it, right? Good. Down and up. Let's go. Down. So you get a big range of motion here. Let's go. Good. Up and down. Good. Lift. Keep going. Bring it up. Good. Now, the ball is not rolling. You are just lifting up and down. The ball's not going anywhere. It stays in the same place. Okay? Good. And up. And down. Good. Keep going. Up. Down. Working it. Let's go. Up. Down. Come on. And down. Again. And up. Up and down. Keep going. I don't know what happened to the music. Up and down. Now take the weight off. Lift up. Head is on the ball. Get on the toes if you can. We're going to pulse. Up. Up. One minute. Let's go. And up. 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 Good. Squeeze in the glutes. You should feel the glutes really well there. Keep going. They should be on fire. Keep going. What's wrong with that app? Keep going. Good. Up. It's not Kevin's fault. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Up. Up. It wasn't me. Yeah, he's having trouble. Keep going. Here, I just like wedge him up against here. Keep going. There we go. Keep going. <laughs> he's so little. Keep going. Again. <laughs> uh, this is going to look weird now. Keep going. <laughs> and up. On the toes, you're lifting. Come on. Up. Good. Try not to bounce. Woo! Come on. Stay with it. Up. Up. All right. Now come down. Okay. You're not off the ball. You have one more move in the tricep. I'm giving your back a little break here. Okay. On your toes. Hands down. You're going to go. Up and down. Optional. Elbows here. Kind of holding the ball. You ready for a minute? And go. Good. Now, if you want to, feet flat will make it easier. Fingertips to the floor makes it easier. Okay. Another one to make it harder. Hands to your hips. Now remember, it's dumb to get frustrated because why? Why would you get frustrated, right? I don't mean it's dumb, but there's no point in getting frustrated. You get stronger, right? And maybe this move isn't in your wheelhouse, right? Like I talked about the other day. I could get frustrated that I can't do a pull-up. I haven't worked on them. That's why I can't do a pull-up, <laughs> right? If I work on them, I could do it, right? So that's the thing, right? No frustration. Just do the best you can. Come on. This is also a core move. Good. Good. You get a core. We got a lot of that coming up. And stop. Oh, okay. Woo! We got a core round before we have a tricep round, okay? So, a couple things we got going on here. These are fun. I like these moves. Option one, if you can't do a ball pass, you can just work on bringing the ball to the knees. 
Okay. The full ball pass is grab, lower, grab, and down. Okay? Are you ready? You are. And here we go. Good. I'm half the man I used to be. Good. Good, good, good. And down. Good. Who is that? Stone Temple Pilots now? Is that Stone Temple Pilots? Half the man I used to be. Sorry, Jason. Keep going. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, let's go. Good. Where's Janet? He's bending at the wand. <laughs> Go on. And down. Nice. Try not to hurt your back. It actually will help you if you squeeze the ball, squeeze it with your feet, and then bring it down. Okay? Jenna, you're going to love this round. Jenna's going to love this round. Good. Come on. And down. And up. And down. Whoo! Uh. You don't know it, but I know I lost you right away. <laughs> and stop. Okay. Fun sure move. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> I made this up yesterday. Option one is here. Option two is having the ball on the shins again. <laughs> okay. Maybe you just slightly go here. Option three. Out. Ooh, not like that. <laughs> and back in. Okay, we all lose it sometimes, right? And go. So, another one. You want to keep those knees bent when you go out. Go. Down. Good. And up. Good. <laughs> they weren't grunge enough because they're from San Diego. Good. Come on. Good. So, options again. Maybe just go slightly out and in. Or go back to reverse curl. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, Nicole, it only gets better. <laughs> Nicole's going to be really sugar honey in it. By the way, sugar honey, your, your t-shirt is, or your, your shirt is on the way. <laughs> You're with your Angela Bassett arms. Come on. Wouldn't it be great if I could send you that in the mail? <laughs> no? And... Uh, Someone contact Angela Bassett. Let her know that we need her here. Yeah. <laughs> we're, all un we're all aspiring to have her arms. And stop. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. She was hiding them at the uh, whatever the last awards show. We were like, why are you hiding your arms, Angela Bassett? Okay. You can go back to your plank on the ball or on the floor. Or we got Jenna's favorite move. Okay. Feet are on the ball. You're either going to go roll-ins. Right? Knees in. Or hike ups. Now, if you're looking at me like, what is this lady doing? Do a modification. That's what you do. Okay? It's okay. You ready? We're going for a minute, Miss Jenna. Oh, ready? And here we go. So knees in can be here. Or you could just work on the plank with the ball. Right? Good. And <laughs> Nicole. Nicole, <laughs> it's hard to laugh. laugh and do this. Nicole's gonna do message Angela Bassett for me. <laughs> I love it. Could you please? <laughs> Good. I think we'd get a lot more subscribers if Angela Bassett or Jason Momoa showed up here for real. Come on. <laughs> uh, ooh. Woo. Good. Keep going. How much time on this one, Kev? This is awful. Oh, good. Get up. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. Up. I almost got stuck in a handstand and stop. All right. One segment left. You ready? Triceps. Woo. It's a fun one today, isn't it? All right. Again, you can do this on the floor. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not used to the ball. Sometimes you might feel your back because it is working core. Okay. Um, you can do this on the floor if you want. We're gonna be in this position again. You're gonna do um, dumbbells together, skull crusher. Okay. Then we're gonna do a part tempo. Then we're gonna do, what are we doing? 
Press ups. <laughs> Press ups. What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 12 pounds, Ken. <laughs> All I know is that Kevin just giggled when he when he said, "I was like, what are we looking at?" All right, you ready? <laughs> ready? <laughs> and two down, two up. Here we go. So you're bending your elbows. Again, I like the outside edge of my hand against the top head of the dumbbell, not right in the center of the handle, because then I. That's where you're gonna start bending your wrist, okay? So press against the head of the dumbbell. Good, good. He was actually in my area last week. He was all up in my area like he is today. So he was in uh, our county. He was close to me. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin said he's close to my area right now. He was actually at a bar not far from here promoting his vodka recently. Uh, I, saw, I don't know. It's like 20 minutes from my house. Good. 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 Okay. Down. Okay. You ready? So hold it up. Bring them apart. And we're going to go. One. Alternate. Go. I'm lightening up because I find that I'm going weird with this, okay? So when I say that, what's happening is your arms, if you're here and your arms are kind of not here, lighten up because I want you to keep that form, okay? So I'm going lighter because I want to keep the form rather than injure myself, right? Okay? Or, well, <laughs> injuring yourself is a great way, or doing it wrong is a great way to injure yourself. So if you look, your arms from shoulder to hand stays parallel the entire time. The dumbbell comes next to the ear. One arm bends, one arm straightens. Good, these are fun. <laughs> um, so Terry, there is a, I, first of all, I did a short on that. I did a short about finding the right size ball. Um, but if you go to my Amazon store and you look at the ball, I'm not telling you you need to buy one there, but the, if you go on a ball, uh, go for the description of any ball that you buy and stop. Bring your elbows down, okay? It should tell you for your height what size ball you need. Okay, right here, you're gonna go one up and three down. Ready? Here we go. Up, good. And I'm switching back to my 12 because that feels a little light. Up. Now, hit your elbows on the ball and then push. Keep them close. Keep them close. It's up and down. Two, three. Good. Two. Again. Up. Down. Two. Keep going. Up. Down. Again. Two. Keep going. Uh, I was waiting for someone to ask that. One muscle group. <laughs> Michelle, are we going to work back today? I was like, if I don't do triceps, somebody's going to be like, well, we didn't do triceps. Okay. Keep going. And up. So, anytime you're working the ball as well, especially with posture stuff, you are working that upper back. Okay. Whew. Good. Keeping it in alignment. And down. Two. And up. If you need an extra upper back, go head over to another video. And stop, because we're not doing any isolations on back today. Sit up on the ball. And what's the real time, Kev? Real time. 41. Okay, we're going to stop right here. Good. Woo. Sign half man. <laughs> Sue over 50, I just got on. Wanna say you're the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you, so over 50, switch. <laughs> Hold it, stretch it out there. Okay. Woo. So, hold it right here. And one, oh, hand in front. Okay, now listen guys, right here, look at this. Stay there, hand in front. Sit on the ball. Right now, you're actually working your upper back by sitting tall, look at this. Stay with, stay with that hold, stay with that hold. I could also sit like this, and then what am I doing? I'm stretching, I'm, I'm stretching out my upper back muscles, tightening my chest muscles, right? So, posture, switch hands. 
when you're in the grocery store or wherever you need to go later, toss your checks, okay? Think about it. Stand tall. Are you leaning over the grocery cart, pushing your cart? Stand up, push it tall. I have heard this before. I said to, I even told the massage therapist the other day. And uh, Landis, which is our grocery store, it's kind of like the old local grocery store. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like the one that the older people in this area, they'll, they'll go there because it's like the town's grocery store and it's been there forever, right? So give your left arm across. Um, anyway, so a lot of times when I go in there, I'm usually one of the youngest people in there. Not always. Anyway. Multiple times, a cute little old lady walking with her herself over the cart looks at me and goes, honey, you have the best posture. And I was like, you could do it too, stand up. And she's like, it's too late for me. Twice this has happened with, with the it's too late for me. And I'm like, no, it's not, it's not, you can do it. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> right, think about your posture. It's those little things that we don't think about that, that'll make us Okay, I feel it when I'm at my computer. Oh, it's no fun. Good. <laughs> Good. Take it back. Open your chest. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm so happy you were with us. Good. And if you wanted to do some upper back work, you totally could. Get on the ball, do some one-arm rows if you want to add them in there. Woo! Good. Awesome. Now, come up. Hold forward, hang down, stretch out those hamstrings, everybody. Whew. Hold it. Breathe. So maybe you're just starting out and you're like, how did we, I, I finished, I got to the end, but I did my best and I, I didn't do any weight or I didn't do, you know, uh, the weight that she did. First of all, you never have to use the weight that I do, ever. Then your knees roll up, okay? It's about what's best for you. If you came and you stayed till the end and you did the best you could, you could, you did it perfectly, okay? Stop being hard on yourself. This is what we do, okay? We build each other up, we make each other work hard, feel good, okay? Good, all right, great job today, everybody. Thank you so much. If you are here in the after party, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and I will see you for the next one. Bye, guys.